We are breaking down the AL Central, deciding what could be fact and what could be rumor. Welcome to you, Lauren Shahadi, David Andreessen, our MLB blogger. After a slow start to the season, look at the White Sox. Last year, they traded for an injured Jake Peavy, who is now injured again. Are they looking at another arm, David? Maybe a bat like a Jose Batista? Why not, right? Right. They are looking for a pitcher. Their most immediate concern seems to be they want a left-handed bat. They really, really want uh, Adam Dunn, but for some reason that's not getting done. Uh, the Nationals are reportedly saying that they're not going to move Dunn unless they get a ton uh, back for him. They're also looking at Prince Fielder, but they might have to give up two of their top prospects, uh, Daniel Hudson and Gordon Beckham, to make that happen. But it seems like uh, left-handed hitting is, is, there, is Kenny Williams' top priority right now. You know who also needs a little bit of batting is the Tigers two and a half games out. What about adding a catcher like an Ivan Rodriguez who has been there, done that with the Tigers? Uh, news today is that they, they're not interested in having uh, Rodriguez back. Uh, right now the hole they need to fill is at third base. When Brandon Inge broke his hand uh, earlier in the week. Um, so they got to find somebody to fill in there. Maybe Jose Lopez in Seattle or uh, Ty Wigginton. Um, the Tigers have some money. They have a lot of payroll coming off the books uh, after this year. So they have some money to spend. They might go after some, some pitching. They might look at uh, Ted Lilly or Ben Sheets. Um, so Detroit really has a lot of options and uh, some not terribly pressing needs, but places they could get better for sure. All right, we will see how that all works out. Currently tied with the Tigers are the Minnesota Twins, who were thought to be in the mix for Cliff Lee before he landed in Texas. Do they deal for a pitcher before the deadline, David? What do you think? I think they're going to try. Um, I think they've, if they had the money uh, to go for Cliff Lee, who wasn't really expensive, but uh, uh, by Minnesota terms, pretty pretty big move. Uh, if they were willing to do that, I think they're willing to, to go for somebody else. They have a catching prospect, prospect, Wilson Ramos, who is a really hot prospect, who apparently they're willing to part with if they think they can get somebody who's a difference maker for this year. So I, I would look for them to be active. Hey, David, catch me up on the Royals, who are always seem to be sellers this time of year. Uh, do you see a David DeJesus and Alberto Cayaspo? Do you see both of them moving, one of them? What's the latest? Uh, I think pretty much anybody could be had off that team. Uh, I think both of those guys are good bets to move. Uh, they'd like to get uh, Jose Guillen out of there, although his salary is, is proving to be a problem. Um, I think Kyle Farnsworth out of the bullpen will probably move. And the big question is whether they let their closer, Soria, uh, go. I think that they would command a really high price for him, but he, he could be really attractive to a lot of teams. Poor Cleveland. First LeBron leaving, now the Indians in last place. Could Johnny Peralta be on his way out, maybe to the Yankees? He could be a, an option for the Yankees. He, he could be an option for the Tigers if they want to trade within the division. Um, I think Peralta's probably a pretty good bet to move. Um, I think Austin Kearns could move as a backup uh, for somebody as well. Um, you know, Two guys they'd like to move for salary reasons are, are Westbrook and Kerry Wood. Um, but both of those guys make pretty good money, and uh, that could be a barrier for them. But I know that the Indians are actively wanting to shed payroll right now. David, do you think that Peralta would be traded within the division? Do you think that's likely of that happening? Um, I think given that Cleveland's that far out of it um, and probably don't figure to be in it anytime soon, I don't think they have to worry that he's going to come back and bite him uh, by any means. So I think it would probably be a fairly safe move for them. All right, there you go. As these stories develop, we will keep you posted right here on the site. Take care.